Hey, uh, Sinister Collector here, and uh, my uh, daughter, Kid Sinister, convinced me to do a uh, a review of my uh, Sume Fijito, which is actually my favorite statue that I own right now. Because I told him, is there any more we didn't done? He forgot about this one. We never did it before. Right. Can you flip the lights, though, so we can show the, the lighting effect? Okay, here is three, two, one, <laughs> This thing is so cool. Yeah, it's si so it cycles through a bunch of different modes. The uh, LEDs are on the bottom, and they kind of shoot up. They uh, they they kind of uh, I guess refract or light up the clear resin that's on the back. And they've got all these different modes to make it look like he's powering up, like he does in the anime. It's, it's really cool. yeah, it's really cool. There's a uh, there's sound too, but I couldn't get it working. I think maybe mine just, my sound doesn't work or something, which is fine because I could care less about the sound. I'll rarely hook that up. Yes. But the lights, the lights are a must. I mean, I, I think yeah. they are incredible. We don't, we're not worried about the speaker. <coughs> we're just worrying about the lights because, yeah. like, he's really powering up. Why don't you turn, like, can, in the, wait, turn your back. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I, I interrupted you. What were you saying, baby? Um, it's, like, it's like in movies, he's really powering up. Yeah, just like in the in the cartoon and stuff. Hey, can you unplug the uh, the uh, light feature? Which one? Just there should only be one. Just one plug. Just pull it out gently. Cool. Yeah. All right. So let's get in here. We'll start with the base. So the base has all these plastic pieces. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I can I can move around. Yeah. All right. So the base has all these plastic resin pieces. Um, I'll pull one out, and they just kind of slide in there. And then just kind of go in like this and just slide right in. Can I see? I sure, you want to see it? Oh, they're really cool. They're uh, they're pretty much translucent. Yeah, I see. Um, I couldn't tell you. I, I wonder if the translucent, uh, the translucent aspect of the resin is what yeah, kind of carries the uh, the LED light. But uh, I'm no expert in that, so don't take that for uh, granted. Anyway, um, this is my favorite piece. Um, I adore the sculpt. I'm gonna get in here close. We'll start with the base, Riley. Mm -hmm. um, they have all these little spikes that kind of replicate. Can you stop taking that off? Like sand. Yeah, but you're giving me a heart attack, right? And it feels hard to feel. Yeah, like. so it starts supposed to replicate like a dirt or sand, and mm -hmm. then they're swirled up, and with the, this is kind of like a smoke type thing, or a, mm -hmm. I guess wind. Or seashells. Kind of, what was, did you say? Seashells? Yeah, because the color looks like a seashell. Okay, it, this is you're turning this into something else. No, this is not yeah. seashells. <laughs> That takes away all the manliness away from this. All right, so the it's supposed to be wind, you know, because when he powers up, you know, the whole ground shakes. Uh, yeah. You know, little particles of dirt fly up in the air. It's kind of like how uh, if you have if you're not familiar with the series, if you if you consider Man of Steel when he in the movie Man of Steel when he first flies and everything starts rumbling, it's very similar to that um, effect, at least in the cartoon. Um, this takes place in the uh, in the the very beginning of the. Uh, Bobbity slash Boo Saga. I guess it's really called a boot, the Boo Saga, the Majin Boo Saga, where uh, the wizard Bobbity. Hey, don't do that. Where the wizard Bobbity uh, convinces Vegeta, or I guess Vegeta kind of asked for it, to get the, for him to use his magic on him to make him more powerful so that he can finally battle Goku. And that's what that big Wait, M is on his forehead. So that's what I thought that, that clear. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is kind of where Vegeta turns into more of a good guy. Because before this, I, th I I always considered him more of an anti-hero before this. And I guess he still kind of is later, but this makes him closer to a hero after this, after he's no longer, you know, uh, after he no longer has the Majin symbol up and he ends up sacrificing himself to save Goku and the Earth. Well, really the Earth, his family, because he has a son at that point named Trunks. Anyway, um, long story short, um, yeah, so we started on the base. We got the whole swirling effect due to his powers. We've and got, like, the wind effect down here. Can you guys see my hands? If you do, give it a thumbs up. It, it's like the, you can see your hand. It might look like color. Hands. Yeah, it's what they call translucent. Like, you yes. can't see through it very easily, but you can see through it. <clears throat> For which your hair color. It's like food color. It's like food coloring? Yeah, I mean it's color, it's tinted or yeah, it's it's yeah. colored, yeah. So so anyway, you also have these blue pieces that are supposed to like represent the lightning because in this this is him going Super Saiyan two for the first time, and uh, yeah, that's what all the lightning is because that was kind of the effect 
The difference between Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan 2 was the added lightning effect and the more spiky oh, hair. Oh my god, we totally missed something. Yeah. Um, so this, the, the, the main fact, the, the driving force in this for Vegeta was that he felt if he had this, if he had some of Bavati's power, you know, which is denoted by the M on his forehead, he would finally be able to uh, beat Goku in a fight. Oh, now I know what's going on now. It's, <clears throat> yeah. it's like his muscles translated to his gloves. I was telling you something about this, the gloves. So the gloves are like, are like a little Look at the rainbow camera. color. Mm-hmm. So it's like this. Like, can you see the color? Yeah, they, they, there's a lot of cool shading. And I think that's what Riley's talking about, right? How their gloves are white, but they're tinted blue with all of the and lightning, yellow. the blue lightning and stuff or the lightning going on and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so and he's got his ripped clothes from, uh, I don't remember exactly if this is after or before he fights Goku. And, and on the back of his clothes, it starts to get yellow on top. Yeah, I, I have to rewatch the, uh, the series to know, but I think this is, I want to say this is after he fights Goku or midway through the fight or something, because... I don't remember him fighting anyone before this that would rip, have his clothes ripped. And and right everywhere he had lines, like little strings. Which ones? You talking about his veins? Oh, those are called his veins. You're talking about this part? These no, parts that are. No, no, no. Oh, that's the definition. That's the shading of his muscle definition. So it's trying to show the individual like uh, mu- muscle groupings. You can even see it under here if you look at his armpit, like how well sculpted that part is. I might be able to see it now. But look even at the shading of his suit. Yeah. I mean, I, I've always been a giant... Fan. A giant Vegeta fan. Even more so now that uh, Dragon Ball Super's come out. And I, I hope I hope Sume or another company does a Super Saiyan care. God, Super Saiyan Vegeta with the blue hair. Because that would be I amazing. I hope you guys like it too. It's like a, it's like a cool anime. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's... Uh, why, don't we turn, why don't you turn this slowly, Riley? Slowly this time, right? That's uh, hard. Okay, I can help you. It's it's a really like, heavy it's a really like, heavy statue. It's like twenty weight. Uh, I think it's like thirty pounds, but yeah. Oh, times even four. I'm guessing. I I, I, th- I thought I I thought it was thirty five pounds or something. I don't. Of course, that's the silly thing with Sume's website is they don't tell you how much it weighs. Yeah, it that's that's kind of dumb, and I don't even like. Yeah, I agree. Pounds. It is kind of it is kind of dumb. Like thirty pounds because it makes me yeah. Like, uh, I'm tired. I never want to They also don't tell you the dimensions. So I didn't know how tall. I mean, I think I knew how. Actually, I think I knew how tall this was. I think it's like 20. I think it's 20 inches. But uh, they don't tell you what the width is or the depth. So it's really hard to. It's kind of cool. Well, I don't like it because you can't. I don't like that they don't tell you the depth in the website because then you don't know if you can fit it in the Besta. By the way, this does not fit in the Besta. Um, no. It will fit in a Stuva, which is uh, basically has the same dimensions as a Besta, but it's deeper. Yeah, An IKEA yeah. Stuva cabinet. Um, which I have coming uh, at the end of next year in a few weeks. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is a great piece. Uh, you know, Sume's the company. It's a French company that uh, specializes in uh, mainly uh, anime, and I guess they do some uh, video game stuff too because they got some Street Fighter pieces. But those might actually be Connecticut, which I think is a sister company or whatever. Anyway, uh, here's the back, uh, the back shots. Butt shots, back shots. You can see all the definition. It's a really cool piece. If you're a fan of uh, Fujita at all, I, I highly recommend this. I think it's better than any other Fujita that's ever been made by a long shot. It's one-fourth scale. Um, Fujita was always a shorter character, so that's why it's not super tall or anything either. Um, the base is gigantic. I don't know why they made it that big. I still love it, but I would have liked it even just as much if this these little things weren't there, all these spikes. And you definitely want to put this in the Stuva, or what I've been doing is I put it on top of my Besta, on top of Colossus over there. Yeah. Um, but you have to put it in there. I mean, you really have to set push the De- Besta away from the wall to do that because these spikes stick out, and it's easy to catch your clothes on it. I've done it once, or I've done it like two or three times already, and then I had to move it because I was afraid I was my, I was going to catch my clothes and rip part of these pieces off. Luckily, I've been well. Luckily, I've been lucky. I guess it's not the greatest yeah. phrase, but. Uh, your shelves are like little um, condos and like those places these like statues can live in. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they are little apartments. Yeah. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Riley, do you have anything you want to add? Yeah. Yes?
Yeah. What do you want to add? The shoes. We totally forgot that. Yeah, the shoes are cool too, yeah. Yeah, so look at the shoes. They're like a light neon, you know? light neon yellow, yellow? color. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? I'm going to turn on the light. Yeah, it's going to wash it out. See? Yeah. Look, look, look. It, 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 it distorts the color when you turn the light on. So but anyway, yeah, you can see how yellow it is, and there's shading on the boots, too. Yeah, you're right. We didn't mention the boots. But, uh, yeah, it's, it it's great. It's like a little rock. Yeah, there's a rock behind it. Anyway, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Hit the bell. Let us know what are some of your favorite anime pieces. And can start some discussion. And see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, look at the camera. Do it again. See you guys next time. Bye. Boop. See ya.